Welcome back to video two of Ryan's tree. We're going to pick right back up where we left off in video number one with the half lap joints. So if you'll stick around, I'll get readjusted and we'll get to cutting. Be right back. All right, as you can see, we've got uh, the drawing back down here. Again, the saw is out because uh, the key is out because I don't want to start the saw. I've got the blade up where I need it to match up. So uh, I have already looked the board over and decided that uh, I want to take it off of this end right here because what's going to happen, I have to come down seven and a quarter inches and I've got this knot right here and seven and a quarter inches starts right here and when we have to go five and a half inches so we're going to start at the 10 we go down to five and a half so as you can see going from here to here we get to remove that knot so that's one less knot we got to contend with so i've got my mark right there and right there and we'll do it right here okay i've got my marks there so now what i want to do is i want to continue these marks there and again we'll put the okay all right, so now we've got what we need as far as dimensional work. So, already having the uh, dado stack set to the right height eliminates our issues. So we will come back over here. And again, like I said, I do not have the key in. So... I can come up here and get lined up. I want to, again, I want to come out a little bit shy of that. So we're going to come out about right there. And then we can always clean it up. So let me put the key in. And here we go. Okay, let's get our practice piece and let's see how well of a fit we have. Okay, again, we have a tight fit. So, what I will do is I will take just a touch off of each side. And this is where finessing comes into play. So, hang on, we'll get set back up, put the key back in. And what I want to do is I want to come in. Just want to kiss it right there. Here we go. And I could not have asked for a better fit. That is going to be superb. It is perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right. Very good. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let's get our, our other piece and put it in there. 
and uh, kind of get us a feeling for what it's going to look like. And just drop it in here. Okay. Like I said, it's going to be a, a tight fit, but we're going to make it work. Okay. Let's get that out of the way. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do some sanding on this side right here. And that will let it drop in a whole lot better. So hang on. I'm going to get my sander. I'll be right back. All right. I'm back. So I'm going to take my sander. And just between these two marks is where I really want to sand. And it's not going to take much. So I've got a about a 120 grit on here. It won't take much. Kid you not, it won't take much. So let's just see how this is going to fit. All right. I'm going to take just a little bit more. We can sneak up on it like this. All right, we're getting there. So... Off camera, I'm going to go ahead and finish sanding this in. And when I come back, you'll see how it's going to look when we've got it all done. So be right back. All right, we've got good fit on the lap joints. So now it's time to start the sanding process. And I'm one of the weird ducks in the woodworking world. I love to sand. <laughs> Here we go. All right, let's get the air. Okay. Looking pretty good. I can handle that. Okay. So we're going to release this board, turn it over. Okay, I'm actually going to be using the exact same grit, exact same paper, in fact. That was on the random orbital. This this sander is gonna sand differently. So we're gonna here we go. Oh, I'm liking this a whole lot more. Yep. This is good. This is good. All right. Off camera, I'm going to go ahead and do the 24-inch uh, piece the same way. And when I come back, we'll probably be at the laser laying out this piece here. So hang on. We'll be right back. All right. Off camera, I have been doing a lot of sanding. And so now what I'm going to be doing, I've got these big cracks here little ones right here and I'm going to go ahead and be filling these with the CA glue from Starbond and I'm going to use the thick because um, I want it to seep down inside those cracks and fill them up because I want them filled when I go to pour the resin I want them full of the CA glue to cut down on any any bubbles as much as possible and uh, give us a smoother pour. CA glue is kind of like the best friend of woodworkers. It is awesome to work with. does a great job sealing our products, making sure that they're all sealed up and doing good. So, all right, I got the glue on. Now I'm going to spray it with an accelerator. 
that's all that takes. We're going to move down here. We're going to do the same thing. We'll fill up these little cracks right here. This is actually the back side of that knot on the other side we talked about earlier. So I'll get this filled in. On this side. And we'll hit that with the accelerator. And this stuff's already hard right here. That's how quick it fills. But we're going to come right back on top. We're going to make sure we got a good fill all the way around. I want it a little bit proud so I can sand it back smooth. All right. Okay. And I can feel that. That's all proud up there. So that's already done. Let's sand this board down again. All right. With the exceptions of the edges, I think that's pretty much got our sanding wrapped up, taken care of. Both sides are looking good. And I'll trim that up with the the uh, chisels. Clean that up and get that down there right now. I'll do that off camera. So anyway, I appreciate it. When we come back, we will be getting set up for the laser. Well, it's been a good day. The cross is basically all cut out and fits perfectly the way I want it to. Um, next step is to go ahead and do the layout on the laser and then we'll do the hand carving. So I'm going to make that for uh, video number three. We'll start that tomorrow. I've had a, a really good full day and uh, I've got some other things I need to take care of. So I'm going to wrap up video number two. And again, I appreciate everybody uh, following along. And if you would, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd appreciate it very much. So until video number three, if you would, hug all your family and friends. Let them know you love them. And God bless.